So at the last meeting, Mr. Canada did address council and in particular asked uh, a specific question of me, which I told him I would answer. Um, I did hold my answer uh, until I could do some research because there were some things that were said at the meeting uh, and in a subsequent email from Mr. Canada that made me take pause. The one asking for subpoena, uh, there were other comments made at the table about the legality of payments as well as Mr. Canada saying it was illegal. So having done the research, and I'm going to ask at the end the solicitor correct me if I've said anything wrong, to be very clear, there was absolutely nothing illegal regarding the contracts with the Colwell Group, nor were there any city procedures or spending authority violated. Now I'll go back and give a little more detail. Back in the 90s, we had a city manager who did break up contracts specifically to get around the spending limit. So council changed the rules to be very specific about the spending limit and how to break up contracts such that they had to be separate entities, separate issues, right? Separate engagements. And that's what is in the rules today. What was the Caldwell Group was used for were three separate engagements, as was pointed out. They were separate contracts, separate rates, and for specific issues. Now, anybody can spin that any way they want. But the reality is, nothing illegal was done. No rules were violated. The city manager acted within his authority appropriately. Well, Mr. Braun, did I miss anything? Yeah, I'll address this. Um, I actually reached out to Mr. Canada um, following the fact that he circulated some comments online that he believed that the city had acted illegally. Um, there was also some questions being raised, and I historically went back to look to see what was done regarding the Colwell Group. Um, I'm familiar with the Colwell Group. I've worked with them in other communities. And uh, I also asked the clerk of council to go back and pull documents for me so that I can historically check that. I reached the same conclusion that you did. There was nothing illegal done. Um, there were three separate contracts with the Colwell Group for three separate amounts, three different hourly rates, three different time periods, and three different objectives. Um, there were periods of time where they did nothing for the city. There were periods of time where they did something for the city. And um, I did reach the conclusion that there was nothing illegal about it. And um, I will also tell you that um, I did, uh, have, I did not have any difficulty locating the information. Um, again, as far as council debating it, that's a decision for you to decide if council should debate it. I don't get involved in that. But I will tell you that there was nothing illegal, there were no rules violated. I'll uh, entertain a motion to adjourn. Now we're cooking with gas. Yeah, we are.